Until next time, be safe and we'll see you the... Wait, this is the beginning of the video. I want to jump right into the sponsor of this video, Waggler Metal Sales. Without them, this video would not be possible. You're looking at the very first glimpse of the new YouTube studio here at Grand Roofing. They went out of their way to help me get this metal made for the YouTube studio, so I want to give them a shout out. If you have any metal needs, check them out, Waggler Metal Sales. I'll leave their link in the description down below, but let's just take a quick tour of this metal right here being rolled earlier today. So they actually ran a few pieces, but because they changed the gauge of steel, it actually bends differently from a different gauge to a thinner gauge. So they're setting it back up for the appropriate gauge of metal. So they're pulling it off right now. It comes in in its raw form, various colors up here, different sizes for different materials. This is typically your bar metal. It's going to be a fiber and exposed fastener. Different uh, metal for the standing seam comes already made to the size of the machine. But when you're actually doing this batten board, they cut it down out of this stuff. So the color they're running now, comes out catch it just held with a magnet they're going to run it through the machine it's going to run down this and simply cut to the length of the metal you need for whatever project you're working on so in this case we're uh, i think like two inches short from eight foot it's going to go in my office from the ceiling down to the ground so we're going to cut it to the length they're going to run it through a die at the back and i'll show you that process here real quick well actually we can just show it right here as he rolls it out so the look we're doing is uh barn wood digitally printed onto there. They have various like uh, camo type. I mean, it's pretty cool what they actually can offer here. In the video a few years ago, and there's an area of the machine in my block in here. At some point, it's gonna register and index, and then this cutter here will sever it. It'll run out the length that's needed, and then sever it again. You'll see here real quick. This machine here pulls the material. The slack gets pulled in. There's a lever here that tells that machine when to need it. So that's pretty cool. Growing up as a kid, watching Bob Vila and all these little things they would go see factories, I always thought that was pretty cool. And now getting to see this stuff myself firsthand is really cool. And then not only that, but actually take this material and use my hands to install it at the end product for another customer, in this case, the office. So, if I haven't said, Waggler Steel Sales, Central Indiana, if you're in the area, check them out. Go to their website. I, um, I even heard a video I did a few years ago. Somebody from New Jersey saw this and could not find anyone in their area. Actually drove here to Indiana to get this custom-made trim made from Waggler Metal Sales. So, as he's setting this machine up to guide it through, they're actually bringing it up. It's not going to run through the die. It's going to run over the top, and then they're going to run it through the splitter. And we're going to cut this metal down to the appropriate width run through the next machine in the process. Should be ready to go here. You'll see this cutter right here. It will run a whole lot faster. Or no, they're probably doing a test. They're doing a test, yeah, right? We are just yeah, okay. not wanting to run the whole amount. We're actually going to run this one. So typically, when this is all set up, they're trying to gauge, set the gauges of the dies on the next machine. But normally, this will just run through automated real quick. Cut them to the length and run them through. But this will be the process. Make it to the length that the material is needed to actually bend all the seams and everything to make the, the part where it screws down to your sub floor, sub siding, whatever it is, and including the hook part to lock to the next one. And that's what we're going to run through right over here. Each 
one of these guys, starting from the one farthest away from me, will start bending the two seams in. Unlike the last video I did where it's rolling uh, five seams in, when you're rolling a piece of metal inward, you can't start from the ends. It actually needs to start from the center because the radius takes up the material and pulls the material in every rib. So you're going to bend the center, then two and three, and then four and five in succession down through the line. This one, you're only bending two different profiles. So each profile is going to bend itself so they can bend simultaneously, that's it. So here we go, make sure we're clear of the machine. I'll just show you. So all the different settings they're tweaking here are to get the bend and the angle correct. So they had to adjust the machine a little bit, changing the gauge of steel from a previous run to this one right behind your rod. Sorry about that. So the dies in the machine were set for a thicker or thinner material. When you're going to run something different, it's going to change the profile. So they had to adjust that. Now we've got what we need for the machine. Loud. Sorry. I'm being told I'm deaf. I can't hear. Hopefully you can hear me on this. It is a little loud. I don't have my wireless mic. It is what it is. We're just shooting. This was not scripted. So. David's up here getting ready to get the machine ready to run. We only need, I think, 12 pieces of this. They're going to go vertical in my office, so I think they're all stacked up in here. Yeah. So here's all the pieces. We're going to start feeding them into the machine. They're going to run through pretty quick, and we'll be out of here. We'll hopefully add to this video at the shop, hanging the panels in the office as well. We'll do a couple of a quick run through while the machine's running, trying to film. I'm actually going to take the camera from you, and I'll film them going through the machine here. So here they go through the different dies and the profiles, getting them all made to the actual finished panel coming out the other side. That is awesome. So the machine is actually bending these panels. It's perforating the holes here for your screws to go in. And here's the batten side with a turn down hook, which will actually, this hook will actually catch this next piece and lock in right there. So this one right here is where it's actually cutting the holes, the slits. You see the left side, there's no hole, the right side's got the hole. It's just part of the process and the die, those, those spikes sticking up are actually punching the material through. That's just so satisfying. And I think that's it, that's actually all the panels. Nope, there's a couple more, a couple more running through. Amazing. So once the material comes out through here, you usually got the guy feeding the machine, somebody taking it when it comes off the line here, they're going to bring it over. Now larger jobs going out the job site, so you may want to order down the road, they'll put it in little crates like this so they can actually load it onto trucks and ship it out to your job site. In this case, we're just taking the few we have, we're going to run back to the office and go install it here shortly. We'll be right back. And we're back. I appreciate you coming along on this quick tour of the facility here at Waggler Metal Sales. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Watch the machines run and everything. If you need anything, seriously, anything, any kind of custom bent material, metal, trim, does not matter. Give them a shout. As I said earlier in this video, people have come from New Jersey to Indiana to have custom metal that they couldn't find in their area. Also, do want to give a quick shout out to the videographer today, Rob, my brother. Got to give him a shout out. It looks so much better in the post-editing part of this. Not me doing a selfie, so I want to give a shout out to him. Also, in this part of the video is the ending to wrap up here. Let me know where you're watching from, what state you're watching from. It's really nice to interact and inter uh, kind of communicate with you guys, see where you're watching from, as well as shaping the channel here. So going forward, let me know if you like the studio style, the sample board outside, anything you want to see, even branching off into interviewing other contractors in the area, roofing suppliers and different trades of that nature, bringing in a dedicated playlist for that. Let me know if you have any interest in that too. And as always, until next time, be safe and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.